Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hooks and Dice. I'm Leela Kroka, and this is Tommy. He's Hello. here for the final episode before going back to Norway. And today we're going to talk about uh, skinny flat slippers that I'm making and the Pathfinder game that we played. I know that I was going to show you the wheel cover that I was making, but I wanted to make a gift for someone in Norway, so I was quickly making these little skinny flat slippers. They're cute, um, but they're really little. Uh, the Skinny Flats pattern is by Genevieve Design on Etsy, and it's not free, but it is inexpensive. It's only $4.95 US. And what I'm trying to make is the size 6 to 8.5 for women's, and I don't think this is going to fit. I don't, it doesn't look like an 8.5 to me. Um, it barely looks like a 7. The pattern set 27 inches, or 27 inches, 27 chains would make 9 inches. And with my gauge, it just made 8 inches. And I don't have that tight a gauge. It's pretty average. So I don't know if it's the yarn I'm using. She said to use worsted weight, but, you know, worsted weight tends to be a uh, smaller gauge for me. Or if there was just a miscalculation in her measurements or maybe she has a looser gauge than I do I don't know but uh, the sole is very narrow like I said it's called skinny flats and it's called skinny flats for a reason <laughs> they're not meant for wide feet I tried to put my toes in the slipper in the toe part and instead of being inside here let me turn it that way inside here all the way my toes were out to here so yeah not made for people with wider feet um, the Pathfinder card game, show you the box lid again, da -da -da. skull and shackles, uh, that was fairly quick and easy to learn. You do have to reference the rules a lot for the first gameplay, but would you say halfway through? Yeah, yeah, about halfway through. Yeah, about yeah. halfway through we're using the rules less and less. Yeah, and there's a handy little reference on the back of the rule book, so... Once you get the basics of the rules, this will be enough just to catch up. Yeah, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> we had a lot of fun. There was good character interaction. It was challenging but not difficult. And it's more fun to play with two, but you can play with one or up to six. Yeah, I think it's up to six. Let's see what it says there. Mm. It's not going to tell you. <laughs> it's not. Does it say on there? Yeah, it should be. We should have checked this before I did the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but we think it's six. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, we Probably. didn't get around to playing more than one scenario, but it was a lot of fun. And we may play again today because today's our last day. We head back to Seattle on Sunday and then Monday he flies out for Norway. So the, the crochet pattern, it crochets up nice and quick. It's very easy so far. <clears throat> Um, for having uh, kids, one, one size kids and small, medium, large women's sizes all in one pattern, it's very coherent and easy to interpret. And I'm going to provide a link to the pattern at the end of the episode. Um, it's a little less hectic on page four. Page three, you have to watch yourself because you can get lost really easily and start doing the wrong stitches for the wrong pattern and you just you can mess up the entire thing and it's the sole of the shoe that you're working um i did double soles for the slipper so that i haven't attached them yet because it's not time to attach them but i can tuck this in here and show it'll be white uh, soles inside purple on the outside because you know white will get so dirty if you have it on the outside plus it's a softer somehow it's a softer weight even though it's worsted weight, it's softer, and so it's easier on the feet on the inside than on the outside, and it's really pretty looking slipper. Um, and you just have to watch your stitches carefully. The Pathfinder game, it's a little on the expensive side. It's $59.99 US for the base set, $19.99 for expansion packs, and you need five expansion packs for the whole campaign, so that's $159.94 total if you don't get the character add-ons, which are $19.99 more, not counting bats. So <laughs> there is a lot of stuff that the game 
Yeah. And Would it, you say needs or uses? Uh, it's up to four players with the base set. You can expand it to six, apparently, with the character add-ons. Um, you with the base set. Oh, this is. Oops. <laughs> The base set, you got almost all of this except two of these are the expansions. Uh, so you get everything, basically all that. And that's enough to play for quite a long time if you want to do. Yeah, you said like things. months? Yeah, I, I just playing through the first part would, depending on how often you play, of course, would right. take you probably. Uh, a month just playing through the base game and then add on a month or so per expansion you get so right and what are the character add-ons uh just more characters to play with like we had the um, the base characters and you make these kind of decks with the cards and the add-on adds more of these characters, basically. Okay. Different ones. So you have more to choose from. More to choose from, and then more cards to build the character decks. So then you can have more. So players. it would it would take that long just playing one time through with the same character. Imagine if you chose a different <coughs> character and played through the same scenarios. Mm -hmm. That would be well, how many characters are available? Um. There's six in the base set, and then there's four um, add-on characters. So yeah, so ten. ten. So imagine playing all ten characters through all the scenarios. That's going to be a lot of gameplay. There's a lot of replayability in it. Yeah. So it's worth the price, but it's a uh, an in investment Yeah. to get started. Yeah. But uh, the base set will keep you going for a good while. Yeah, and as you could see, it was nicely organized. It came with a box with compartments for all the different cards, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really it's a fun game. I don't know if if you're into Pathfinder, which is kind of like D and D. Um, if you're into card games, would you say it's a strategy card game? Yes. Yeah, definitely. strategy card game. So there's and a little a something for everybody. Cooperative. Uh, game as well. You're right. not playing against each other. You're, you're working playing together with each other to uh, overcome the challenges, which yeah. is good. Um, and you can also play it alone, as you said. So yeah. if you don't have anyone to play with, this is a board game-ish game that you can play on your own as well. Yeah. There's not too many of those. Yeah. And speaking of challenges, <laughs> on the fourth page of the pattern in the uh, skinny flats that I'm making. On row three, it says for kids' size, you'll have an extra stitch. You'll have an extra stitch in the women's size, at least in medium as well. And then in row four, there's an instruction that makes very little sense unless it's explained by the next sentence. So they should have the next sentence in parentheses so that we get that it's an explanation of the first sentence. It'll make more sense to you as you're crocheting along. It's a pretty pattern. I mean... I like it. I don't know. What do you think, Tommy? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks very good. Yeah. So it kind of puts me in the mind of a ballet slipper. It's not finished. The finished product will have a strap going across. So it's almost like a Mary Jane. It's like a cross between a Mary Jane and a ballet flat in a slipper. And they're really, really pretty. And they're ele I think they're elegant. I've got a stitch marker on it right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I think they're elegant. And it's a really pretty pattern. And she does a lot of great looking patterns. I'm intending to try more of her patterns in the future so I do recommend this pattern there are a couple of glitches with it like I mentioned but other than that you know I think that it'll work you know if it doesn't fit the person it's intended for it'll definitely fit her granddaughter yes yes um, we're thinking I can't say definitely should fit her granddaughter <laughs> so anyway um we will get back to the uh, wheel cover. I should have the wheel cover done. I'm this close to being done with it now, but I just I stopped production so that I could work on these slippers to get them to Norway in time. So next week I will show 
probably pictures of the wheel cover rather than uh, show the wheel cover itself because one, it's big, you know, and two, it'll just look better if I put pictures of it on the Jeep so you guys can see how it looks. And I probably won't be reviewing anything next week. It'll be talking about uh, gameplay because we'll be playing Wednesday and Friday, yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll be playing Wednesday and Friday. So we'll be talking more about the Pathfinder games that we're playing. Did, so, Didn't you want to review Munchkins? Oh yeah, I could review Munchkin. We did play Munchkin, that's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I could review Munchkin and review the Jeep wheel cover pattern as well. And But most of my episodes are not going to be reviews. They're going to be more about the gameplay, the games that I've played, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and the patterns that I'm working on. It's just, it's we've been playing games that I haven't played before, and I thought it would be fun to review them for you, the audience. So, anything else? Nope. Okay. In that case, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.